Welcome back, everyone. Matt Fraser, the medium with a message connecting people with loved ones who have passed on. And he has a wonderful event coming up. You're going to be doing two readings for Peggy and Eleanor that you just picked out of our audience. Absolutely. And, you know, spirits always talking, Kara. And this morning it was a little bit crazy in the studio audience as one spirit after another was trying to get through. And I'm so excited to be back at Foxwoods yeah. Resort Casino because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing is uh, reconnecting people with their loved ones that had passed on. And it's a great time. It's Jan January 25th, uh, right at Foxwoods, Florida. Six. We'll have the information on betterct.com and uh, you can register through the Foxwoods website. But this is a nice time because it's about, you know, exactly one month after Christmas, such a time when people are missing their loved ones. Absolutely. And I feel as though that, you know, these messages that are passed on really help people to feel closer to their loved ones and get validation that they're there and that they're watching over them 24-7. 24, 24 right. So well, we will let life. you do the, begin your readings. Okay, and I'm going to start right here with um, Eleonora. Yes. Um, because when I first came in, I had your mom that steps forward, but she was also telling me the name Marie Mary. Who yes, would that be? My sister. And she had passed on as well. Yes. To so know that your sister would be pa would be stepping forward with your mom on the other side, just their way of letting you know that they're together and that they're safe and at peace. Your mom comes through first because she's like the feisty one that's yeah. here, and right away she was like, "Tell her her sister's here. Tell her her sister's here." Um, that's why, because when I'm connecting with them, the way that I'm receiving my information is that they'll tell me things that you know or people that you're looking to hear from. So as I'm connecting with your mom, she's telling me like names, dates, places, things like that. And one of the things that she was saying is that there was nothing more that you could have done for her before she had passed. Because this was a woman who was tough as nails when she was here in this physical world. Because she's telling me about how you had to take care of her and really step forward to be there for her. Because she tells me that you were her major support system when she was passing. And she wants to thank you so much because one of the things is that she was not ready to go at the time that she did. She thought she was going to be able to beat this even though it had, because she's telling me like that when I connect with her. It's like her help like all went down all at once and she's talking about like that being in the hospital and she's talking about the fact like that she wanted to come home because she kept telling me like I want to come home I want to come home you understand this and one of the things that she's saying is that please understand that you did not disappoint your mother once and that's one of the things that she wants you to know because the two of you were very close here in this physical oh, yeah. world because she's saying here like mother like daughter and she's going like this and she's telling me about how beautiful you are because she's talking oh, about you. that the two of you looked like one another here in this physical world and one of the things that she's saying is like make sure that you pray make sure that you pray because she hears you praying all the time and that when you're praying know that your mom hears you every single step of the way because oh, she's saying that she's with you beautiful. watching over you on the other side and you had a ton of people that were coming <laughs> through like on the other side and it's funny because I feel like I run the, the lost. Party. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I run the lost and found in heaven on the other side, like trying to get through all the messages that are possible. Um, and right away, I had this young male that had stepped forward, um, which is a friend of the family's for you. Um, told me like that when he passed, there was a lot of questions over his passing because he tells me like that all of a sudden he just went to bed and next thing you know, it's like he just didn't wake up. You understand that? Mm -hmm. And this was a friend of the families that you had? Okay. Because mm -hmm. one of the things that he was talking about was that he had like a, a wild and crazy way about him because he's like, he lived his life to the fullest here in this physical world. He shows me going out, there's music that's being played, there's alcohol that's being passed around. And he was like a wild <laughs> like party animal when he was here. Because one of the things that he told me is like when he was here in this world, he's like, I always pretended like I didn't care about anything is what he said like he just had like this free bird free way of life and he's saying that now that he's on the other side he wishes that he would have told everybody about how much that he loved everyone about how deeply your friendship and that your connection had meant to him because he felt as though that you were like a second mother to him or that you were like a second family mm -hmm. and one of the things that he had brought forward was a boy that came forward as well and um, when I talked to you off air, you were telling me about that this was a boy that you had babysat for. Mm -hmm. So this was who to you? Hunter, it was one of the kids that I took care of. One of the kids that you took care mm -hmm. of, okay. And you'd understand him being sick before he passed, mm -hmm. and this was cancer that he passed up? Yep. Okay, so know that he'd be stepping forward, because one of the things that he told me is that he's with other children on the other side now, that he's no longer alone. This boy, like, I feel like he didn't even know that he was sick, because he's got a smile that goes from ear to ear. He's talking about having one last birthday here in this physical world before his passing, and that this was his fa favorite moment. Because one of the things he's saying is that everybody was there for him. And even though there was a time when he couldn't walk, and that, he, and that they had to either carry him or bring him to different places, he's thanking so much for his family, his friends, and for you for being such a strong support system around him. And even though he passed years and years and years ago, know that this is just validation that your loved one never leaves you. No matter when they pass, whether it be 30, 40, 50 years ago, they're always right there by your side. And I also have like your dad that's tapping me on this shoulder. Like, I'm the one who she really wants to hear from. It's like <laughs> what he had said. You understand that? Mm -hmm. And he's the one coming through, like saying that you were daddy's like little girl here in this physical world. But he's telling me that you feel as though you didn't get to say goodbye to him. 
when he left this physical world. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that he's saying is don't feel that way. Don't feel as though you didn't get to say goodbye. He's like, I didn't know that I was going to pass at the time that I did. And one of the things he's saying is that you didn't know. And he's letting you know like that even though you know you had missed it, he's like, I know the way that you had felt about me. And by the way, your mom's tripping in as well because you were actually there for your mom's passing. And she wants to thank you so much because she actually remembers you leaning down and kissing her right before she had passed and telling her that it's okay to go. Because she tells me that when you were there and you were speaking to her, even though she couldn't, she couldn't speak back, she's telling me that she heard every single thing that you had said. Aww, and I'm going to leave you with that. I hope this helped you. Thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome. Thank you. I know. I can tell from looking in your eyes, emotional for both of you. But uh, this is the kind of thing you can have when you go see uh, Matt at the live event, January 25th. It's, uh, I know, so helpful for some people. That it is. All right. Thank you so much for being here, Scott.